so uh, today I just want to briefly talk to you about the importance of believing in yourself all right there's a man named Roger Balston has anybody heard of him he was around in 1950s all right he was an Oxford med student and uh, he was one of the fastest middle distance runners for all of England he went to the Olympics in 1952 and he came in a disappointing fourth place he was crushed he thought about hanging his hat up because he had let his country down he had let himself down and uh, he thought he just wanted to move on and pursue his medical career but something deep inside him said no i can't stop here i've got to prove to myself i can do this i know i can win i know i can do better so he started training 192 1952 became 1953 became 1954 now he had a large race to go to and he was uh, entered to run the mile now up until this point the experts said nobody can run a sub four minute mile it is impossible for a human to run a sub four minute mile Roger wanted to prove him wrong that day so he stepped on the track they pulled the trigger they started running about a pack of eight of them. He was number two, and he was frustrated. He felt like running that day was just effortless. The guy in front of him was going too slow. He wanted to pick up the pace, but it was the right pace. And he ran two laps and three laps. He came around the corner on the third lap. It was 3.01. He knew if he ran sub 59 seconds, he could break the four minutes. Thousands of people in the crowd knew it too. They started cheering. He comes out from the pace runner takes the lead, he runs across that finish line, collapses into his coach's arms. A few moments later, the announcer comes on. He says, ladies and gentlemen, a world record has been broken today. Roger is the first man ever to run a sub four minute mile. Exactly three minutes, 59 seconds, and four tenths. Quicker than it took me to snap my fingers was the difference between a world record and no record. They said it couldn't be done, but it was done. Do you know since then, 20,000 people, 20,000 have broken a four minute mile. You know why? It's because they saw someone else do it. And all of a sudden they started to believe that they could do it. And this is the principle I want you to hear me today. The first step to accomplishing anything in life is to believe you can. In the Old Testament, there's a guy named Gideon. I don't have enough time to tell you the story of his life, but Judges chapter 6 3, you can look it up. He was a coward and he was hiding. He was in fear. He was from a weak tribe. And God showed up and he said, Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor and I'm going to use you to lead my people. Gideon took one step of faith. He didn't believe him initially, but he took one step. And one step of faith led to another step of faith. And sure enough, within good time, God used Gideon to free his people. He became what God said about him. But Gideon didn't believe it. Gideon had all sorts of excuses. And we come up with all sorts of excuses all the time. We don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe something's possible. We believe lies that we tell ourselves, I'm too small, I'm too slow, I'm dumb, I'm not fast enough, I'm not rich enough, I'm not from the right home, I don't go to the right school. We believe what our peers say about us. You can't win, look at the scoreboard, who are you? You guys stink, or we listen to society. You're too young, you'll never measure up. And I'm telling you right now, you gotta stop believing lies, and you gotta start believing in yourself. And here was the principle that changed Gideon's life, all right? It wasn't so much believing that he was great. It was believing that he served a great God, and that when God was with him, and God was for him, he knew that God could use him, and that's exactly what he did for Gideon, and that's exactly what he can do for you and I when we stop believing lies and we start believing who God says we are. And do you know what God says about you? He says you're not ordinary, you're extraordinary. God in, in Genesis created the world, and after each day he said it's very good, he created mankind, he said it's very good. There is no one else like you on planet Earth. God doesn't create mistakes. He doesn't create ordinary. You have unique DNA, you have unique fingerprints, you have a unique gifting, you have a unique, unique skill set that this team needs. You are anything but ordinary. You are extraordinary. A few eight, 18 months ago, to be exact, I applied for the Air Force. I was gonna be a reserve chaplain. 
I went all the way through the process. They said, sorry, you're gonna need a medical waiver. I've got some medical issues. I'm damaged goods, I'm getting older. They said, you're not good enough. I was crushed, 18 months, almost two years. Yesterday, I got a call from the Army. They said, we looked at your packet. We think the Air Force is wrong. We think you're great. We're more excited about you than any other candidate we've ever had. We want you. You see, God put a dream in my heart, and when he puts a dream in your heart, he can use you to anything. When you stop believing what other people say and start believing what God says about you. And I want you to know today, today you are extraordinary. You are not ordinary. And when God is with you, nothing can stand against you. So you step on this field, and you give it everything you got, knowing that God is with you and God is for you. All right? You are not ordinary. You are extraordinary. And today, today is your day to stop believing lies and start believing God. All right? So let me pray for us, and then we're going to go to battle. Lord, thank you for these men. Bless them today. Keep them safe. Protect them from harm. Help them to stop believing lies and start believing what you have said about them. They are extraordinary. And when you are with them, nothing can stand against them. God, you've called them to play football today. They wouldn't be on this team or on this field if that's what you hadn't called them to do. So would you help them to play for your glory and yours alone? And would you help them to understand that when they do that, they will win in life no matter what that scoreboard says. I pray these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Everybody get a hand in here. Extraordinary on one. Three, two, one. Extraordinary!